Well, hey! I am so excited because I'm about to make an advent calendar. I've never made one before, but I saw this really cute one on Pinterest from growingspaces.net and she gives a really good tutorial on how she made it, but I decided to add a little twist and give myself an extra challenge and to use only tools from the Dollar Store, from Dollar Tree specifically. So um, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a little bit different, but part of what I loved about this was there's so much flexibility in the colors and the style, and you could really change up what it looks like to match what your aesthetic is. So, uh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna show you everything that I bought to start with, but I bought a few extra things because I wasn't sure what I would end up needing. So, we'll count it out in the end and see how much this project actually costs. But, I am really excited. So, I'm gonna use this as my hanger. I don't know if you can see it. Um, these are actually the poles for plungers. So, <laughs> still gross, I'm putting it so close to my face right now. They haven't been used yet, but I saw these, I was looking for some sort of wood dowel and knew that they would be perfect right away. Um, I'm planning on gluing them together like this and then covering the, I don't know if you can see that, just covering this part up so you can't tell that something was supposed to screw on there. That's what the flowers are for. I thought these were really pretty with just the slightest hint of gold in them. And they're more fabric-y, so they don't necessarily look like they're supposed to look real. And then um, I bought this jute to hang it. I was really looking for something more sparkly in the original. That's what they used, and I loved that but we'll see, this is gonna match my house really well. And then I bought this dollar store paint. Again, I thought about using like a chrome spray paint or something like that, but I really wanted to challenge myself with making this all from the dollar store. But I thought this dark green would look pretty with the poinsettias. Now, I'm gonna use the paint on this. I'm gonna cut the roll inside here, the cardboard roll and I'm gonna cut that into 25 little sections. We'll see how that goes. And that's what I'm gonna put the little, I think it's just like a daily scripture reading every day is kind of what I'm going for with this instead of opening like a little gift. I really like the idea of the season of Advent being the season of Advent. In fact, I have a um, quote from a podcast that I listened to called The Practice Podcast that I wanted to read to you while I'm working on this. So there's that as well. Uh, my paintbrush to paint it. Some wood glue that I'm gonna use to glue my plunger sticks together. And then finally, I got these stickers and hopefully I have enough if I did my math right. Um, because they used, in the original, they used a metallic marker, which I loved the idea of, but I don't love my handwriting and I couldn't find one that I really liked and I wasn't sure how it would go on top of the painted cardboard where they used theirs on top of a metal pole. So we'll see, um, here we go. I actually found this awesome free printable on Pinterest. I will make sure to include a link in the description. First, I unrolled the craft paper, which turned into my perfect workspace. From Sam Dinkin on the Practice Podcast, December 17th, 2019. Mary, the mother of Christ herself, so beautifully illustrates this true meaning of Advent. In her pregnant body, she knows better than anyone what it means to wait for Christ. She holds this paradox between longing for Christ's birth while simultaneously trusting and knowing deep within her body that God's promise to her is already being fulfilled. That paradox is what Advent is all about. Next, I measured off two inch sections on each of the rolls, which gave me exactly 26 pieces. In an attempt to keep with the Dollar Tree spirit, I pulled out my Dollar Tree scissors, but they were super dull, so I switched over quickly. 
Not only do we remember Israel's time of longing for the Messiah's birth, but we also remember that we are still waiting for Christ to come again. Through the season of Advent, we can learn to live with two coexisting realities. Christ's kingdom has already begun, and yet the fullness of Christ's kingdom is still to come. After a few cuts, the seam in the roll started popping further along. I thought that switching the scissors might help as well because I wouldn't be putting as much pressure on it, but that didn't really make a difference. This continued to happen all the way down both rolls, but it ended up not being that big of a deal because it was only always on one side. So when I hung it, I just hung the cut side on the back and it was fine. You can't even tell. Another way to express this paradox is that Christ is already present with us. There's no place that we can go to hide from God's presence. And yet, we know that the totality of Christ's presence is still to come. Next, I painted all the pieces. As you can tell, there's probably a cleaner way to do this. I probably should have at least taken my jewelry off before starting, but it's all good, it all washed off. I would start each roll by making sure paint was covering the entire thing and then I would do kind of a second coat just smoothing it all out nice and even. It's important for us to remember that Advent is not the same thing as Christmas. Even though we know how the story ends, Advent is less about rejoicing in the birth of Christ and more about experiencing the waiting and longing for Christ to come. Like ancient Israel awaited their Messiah, we long for our King to return to this earth and make all things new. Then I took the stickers off of the plunger handles. This did leave behind a little bit of a residue, but it wasn't a big deal. Again, I just kind of put it on the back side and nobody will notice. Then I used my wood glue to glue the pieces together. This took forever. In a second, you'll see me checking the bottle to see how long it takes to dry. It actually suggested 24 hours. Whoops. So here we are the next day. I am taking the flowers, pulling them off so I don't need the stem, just the flower. The stickers were cute, but they kept peeling off, so I actually went and found a gold metallic marker that I already had. Then I went ahead and cut the Bible verses. Mommy, I see baby Jesus! You see baby Jesus? Like there! Yeah, right baby Jesus right there! That is baby Jesus! I love baby Jesus. Pick it up! Pick it up! Then I used the paintbrush again to roll the papers up nice and tight and stick them in their little holders. Mm -hmm. 
This was one of my ripped ones, but you would never know it. Can I do that? Sure. Here. Roll it up. Good job. And again, you pull the brush out. Got it? And stick it in there. Now you can let go. Good job. Perfect. Thank you for letting me do it. You do another one? He took the punishment for us, right? So that we can live in heaven with him then. Yeah, for me, don't Once the glue on the flowers had dried, Gavin and I strung the jute through the paper scrolls, tied a knot just above it, and then tied them onto our pole. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to cut these off or just pull the papers out, we'll see. <laughs> but that may be something you want to take into consideration when you're deciding how you're going to hang yours. product. I'm really excited about the way that it came out. I think it's really pretty. It's pretty different from the original, but the idea is the same. sticks so it's two dollars my flowers made three the jute made four I bought two rolls but I only used one so we're up to four dollars now um, my cardboard rolls here I bought two rolls of white paper so that'll be six dollars the paint, the paint, I bought three bottles of paint. I barely used like a dollop of one. So now we're up to seven dollars. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Oh, I had bought stickers that didn't work. Um, so I ended up having to use a marker. Oh, okay. So if that had worked, that would have been eight. You also could probably use like Mod Podge, which I know the Dollar Tree sells, or like a spray glue or something like that, which I know they also sell. So, you know, do what you want there. Um, and I bought wood glue, so now we're up to $8. I did use wood glue, although I use wood glue to glue the wood sticks together and it took forever. Then I tried using wood glue to glue the flowers on and it was taking way too long, so I did end up getting my hot glue gun out. But, um, seven dollars, yeah, and it's beautiful. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And I think I like the gold numbers even better than the stickers, so it's all good. I hope that you all have a very merry and peaceful Advent season. See you soon. <laughs> That's not gonna end well. Say it on your booty. You are not one of the angels that have the wings and yelling go! Jesus came out! <laughs>
Baby Jesus came out! <laughs> it's exactly what they were yelling. You're right. <laughs>